blessed Sunday, everyone. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Are you ready to worship God? So may I request everyone in your houses to just stand up. Just lift your voices and lift your worship to the Lord. Right? It's good. It's good to bring our praises to the Lord because He alone is worthy. Just lift our hands. Let's lift our hands and just pray. Our heavenly, mighty, powerful God, you are good and you are faithful. Jesus, you are powerful more than anything and more than anyone, oh God. And we are here to lift our voices, to lift our worship, to lift, Lord, oh God, our hearts to you. Receive all the glory, the honor, and the praises for you alone deserve it. Ko tangi, ikaw ang buhay ko, Jesus. Kahit ako nangangamba, basat ikaw ang kasama, panatag na. Ikaw lang ang sa sambahin, paligid man ay magdilim. Jesus, kahit may suliranin man, lagi kang aawitan, ikaw lamang. Kahit kailan di ka nagkulang, biyaya mo sa akin laging laang.
And we declare that you are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday service online. And let's pray. Father in heaven, in this time of crisis, God, once again we come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. We continue, Lord, to pray for our country, for your protection, Lord, our leaders, our president, and all the officials. We pray for them, Lord, that you give them the wisdom and the right decisions to do in this time of pro problem, of God, difficulty. We also pray, Lord, for every family today as we gather to worship you, God. Lord, I cancel any fear, but Lord, our faith will increase, Father. And uh, this, after, this, this morning, Lord, we pray, oh God, for your word, that your word is powerful, reminding us, Lord, about your truth for us, because you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Amen. Give a big hand to God, no? Sa mga bahay-bahay dyan, no? Okay. Amen. Sino sa inyo dito, you know that you are a follower of Jesus. At alam nyo, dahil follower kayo ni Jesus, alam nyo that we, we are called to live a victorious life. Is that amen? And also, that in times of pain and affliction, alam nyo, ngayon may pain tayo kasi our beloved uh, Bishop Lin just passed away. So the family is in pain and the whole church, no? This is a time of pain and affliction. But you know what? In times like this, we are reminded by God that this place, this, this place, no, this world is not our home. Amen. We have a blessed hope. Jesus will come one day, His second coming, and it is nearer today than ever before. Do you believe that? No, ganyan ang paniniwala sa mga anak ni Lord. So the, year, the title of the word today is Year of Christ-likeness, Signs of the Times. Amen. Signs of the Times. So ito, isa lang review. No? Dahil meron tayong pandemic ngayon. May mga signs na ginawa si Lord. Uh, this is just a, some sort of reminding us what is going to happen. And I would like to give you this word, the word cure. No? Para madali na ma-remember. No? Acronym. Okay? C, for us to be corrected as we listen to this word. U, to be updated. No? Minsan nakakalimot tayo or may mga bagong developments na kailangan tayo ma-update. Then R, for being reminded. All of us will be reminded. No? Lalo na ngayon na mayroong pandemic, pandemic we are remind, reminded that this place no, is not our home. And E, encouraged. Encouraged by the truth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So people has a built-in desire to know the future. Do you agree? Para bang, parang normal talaga sa tao na gusto natin malaman ano ang mangyayari sa future. Kaya nga, no, kaya nga malaking negosyo yung mga horoscope, yung mga palm reading, magpahula. No? Kasi built-in sa atin, malaman kung ano yun ang future natin. No? And alam nyo ba, ang ating Panginoon has a habit of telling us our future. No? Our God wants us to know our future. At nilagay niya lahat yan sa Bible. In Isaiah 46.9, sabi dyan, Remember the former things, those of long, long ago, I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Walang katulad Kay Lord, okay? I make known the end from the beginning. Si Lord is telling us the end. Ano mangyari sa atin in the future? From the beginning of time, from ancient times, what is still to come? I say, my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. Okay? Yun ang sabi ni, sinabi ni Lord para sa atin. God is telling us in advance what is going to happen to us. And I will give you four examples that indeed our God, uh, ano, uh, indeed our God would like to know us ahead of time. For example, number one, Sodom and Gomorrah. Hindi ba? 
the angel, the pre-incarnate Jesus, visited Abraham with two angels at sabi ni Lord, itago ko ba kay Abraham ang gagawin ko? No? God told, tababa, told Abraham ahead of time. Then, you know the story, Abraham tried to negotiate. No? Kung pwede ba, merong 50, merong 40, merong 10, pero wala talaga. And so we know the story. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Another one is Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection. Three times, ni-remind ni Jesus anong mangyari sa kanya, mamatay sa cross, and then he will rose again on the third day, paulit-ulit, at talagang nangyari. Jesus told his disciples in advance. Then the destruction of the temple. Sabi ni Jesus kasi tinitingnan ng mga disciples ang ganda ng temple, malalaking buildings during the time, magnificent, ang ganda tingnan. Pero sabi ni Jesus, one day, all of this will be destroyed, the temple. And indeed, it was destroyed on, kailan yun? Alam nyo? Kailan? On the 70 AD. Okay? It was destroyed by the Romans. And the fourth, ahead of time, the dream of Daniel. Diba? Sabi ni, De- sabi ni Lord sa kay Daniel, ito yung mangyari. Babylonian Empire, followed by, ano yun? Persian Empire, followed by the Greek Empire. And then fourth, the Roman Empire. Okay? Ahead of time, talagang, talagang nangyari. Sinabi ni Lord kang Daniel yan in, in a form of a dream. Kay Nebuchadnezzar, yung uh, emperor during the time. And indeed, nangyari lahat. At in that dream, na-mention yung the rock that destroys all this kingdom. It will be replaced by a kingdom, kingdom that will never end. And that's the kingdom, the rock of our salvation, Jesus Christ. At talagang nangyayari dyan hanggang today. Amen? So God has a habit of telling His children, ang mga anak ni Lord, sa nasabihan ni Lord in advance. At ito, the Bible contains everything. Lahat na mangyari nakasulat sa Bible. Kula, kailangan natin basahin ang ating Bible. No? Sa 2 Peter 1, 20-21. No? So God gives us the Bible to know us ahead of time. No, nandyan yan. So the Bible is not just for our salvation to know how to be saved. It is also given to us to live a victorious life and also it is given to us to know what will happen in the future. So, sabi dyan sa 2 Peter 1, 20-21, No prophecy of Scripture came about by prophet's own interpretation o galing lang sa tao ang mga nakasulat sa Bible sabi dyan hindi lang galing sa tao but men spoke from God it is God speaking ginamit lang ang mga tao is that amen so sabi ng Bible babalik si Lord okay second coming John 14 verses 1 and 2 sabi dyan do not let your hearts be troubled sino sa inyo nagka problema kayo ngayon sa mga Walang pagkain, walang trabaho, hindi makapag-report, and you are troubled. We are reminded today na hindi tayo no, parang walang Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. No, nandyan si Lord. Sabi dyan, do not let your heart be troubled, trust in God, trust, trust also in me. Okay, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. Okay? Sinabi ni Jesus ito 2,000 years ago. Mag-prepare siya ng mansions for us. And verse 3, And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back. Babalik si Lord. Okay? Sabihan mo yung sarili mo. I, he will come back. Okay? He will come back for me. Okay? Sabihan mo, sa huwag mong kalimutan yan, babalik si Jesus. And sabi niya, He will come back and take you to be with me so that you will also maybe where I am. Gusto ni Lord, kasama tayo sa Kanya. Okay? So the good news is not just about salvation from sin. It is also about where we are going. We are going to heaven. And then, it is also about by that time, no? Muna, yan ang sinabi ni Tura, we are, we are freed from the presence of sin. It will be a perfect place by that time. Amen? So, huwag kayo matakot sa signs of the times or end of the world. Di ba? Maraming tao natatakot. 
No, the end of the world is good news. Yan. Is that amen? The end of the world is good news. So, mali yung natatakot kayo, Hello, katapusan na ng mundo. Huwag kayong matakot sa mga anak ni Lord. It is good news. It is not the end of us. In fact, it is the beginning of a perfect life no, with the Lord. Is that amen? Palakpakan natin si Lord dyan sa mga bahay nyo. Glory to God. It is the end of the world. It's not something na matakot tayo because it is something we anticipate because that will be a wonderful time for all na mga anak ni Lord. Amen? Ang second is, kailan ba? No, alam ba natin kung kailan siya babalik? No? Sabi sa Matthew 24.36, No one knows. Okay? So, walang nakaalam kung kailan. Okay? Walang nakakaalam kung kailan. Kaya huwag tayong maniwala sa mga magsabi na babalik next year or next month or or after sa December no any date ay ano yan false ano yan false prophet yan okay marami nang nagpredict wala talagang nakapredict kasi sabi nga ng Bible no one knows okay but ito hindi natin alam ang exact date pero ang sabi ng ni Lord sa Bible we can know the season no ang ano bang ba season sa Tagalog Uh, ang panahon, no? Sabi diyan sa Matthew 24:42 at saka 24:44. Sabi diyan, therefore keep watch, no? Ah, uh, you know he is coming. Ang gusto ni Lord, i-watch natin, no? Bantayan natin ang ating mga ang mga signs, ang mga nangyayari sa ating mga sa mundo, no? Mga mga signs of the times. Then sabi sa 44 So you also must be ready. Ibig sabihin, si Lord, ayaw niya gusto, ayaw niya na alam natin yung exact date. Kasi minsan, yung iba, pag alam mo, ah, malayo pa pala, hindi muna ako, mag, hindi muna ako magpakabait, sa na lang, o malapit na. So, alam ni Lord yan, kaya ayaw niya malaman natin kung kailan eksakto. Pero, gusto ni Lord, malaman natin yung season no? na malapit na ang iyong pagbabalik. Kasi gusto ni Lord palagi tayong uh, alert, no? watchful, le- ready all the time sa kanyang pagbabalik. Okay? So, bigyan ko kayo ng parang a, uh, a bird's eye view, a picture, a diagram sa plano ni Lord para magkaroon lang ng some sort of understanding sa timeline ni Lord. Alam niyo, God created the heavens and the earth in seven days. Di ba? Ito yung isang... Uh, idea, some of the biblical scholars. Kasi from the time of Adam and Eve to the time of Jesus, no resurrection, that's 4,000 years. 4,000 years yan. So from crucifixion, ito yung the age of church, church age or age of grace, gracia, sa ginawa ni Jesus sa cross. Okay? Dahil sa cross. But anytime magkaroon ng rapture, okay, this is Estimated to be 2,000 years from resurrection to rapture. 2,000 years. This is the second coming. Dalawang phase. The rapture time and pagbalik. Ito naman yung second coming talaga. Pero this two, phase one, phase two, is one event yan. Second coming yan ang tawag. Okay? Rapture is the time that the church will be raptured. No? <laughs> and Jesus will meet us on the air. Then, ang mga anak ni Lord, dalhin niya sa heaven where there will be a warding ceremony for seven years. While sa baba naman, yung mga maiwan, tawag dyan, great tribulation for seven years. After seven years, babalik naman si Jesus kasama yung mga saved Christians. No? Kasama niya. There will be a short battle, pero actually walang battle kasi powerful si Lord. Yung tawag nila na Armageddon battle. No, wala talagang mangyari because by the word of his mouth, patay lahat yung kalaban. Okay. Then there will be a thousand years millennium. So makita nyo, 4,000, 2,000, and 1,000, that's 7,000 years or 7 days. Di ba sabi ng Bible? A thousand, a thousand years is just but one day. Parang, parang ganun, di ba? 
So ganyan ang sabi ng Bible. Kaya tayo mga anak ni Lord, kailangan ready, ready and alert tayo palagi. Rapture. Meron tayong verse dyan. Maybe I will expound on this rapture some other time. But just to give you an idea kung saan galing yung idea na magkaroon ng rapture. Okay, nandito sa 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. Sabi dyan, For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, no, with a voice of the archangel. Archangel, then mirong trumpet, call of God. No? Imagine a trumpet, malakas na trumpet, marinig sa buong mundo. Okay? And then, sabi dyan, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Kaya si Bishop Lee, nauna na siya kasi gusto niya first. Okay. The dead in Christ will rise first. Then after that, we who are still alive, Christians alive by that time, and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds. Caught up. Yan ang word na rapture. We, those who are dead first, then those who are living will be caught up. No? to the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. No? In between, sa salubungin tayo ni Jesus, in the air, in the clouds. And so, we will be with the Lord forever. Amen. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. No? Sa mga anak ni Lord, second coming is at encouragement, hindi kinatatakutan. Amen. Kahit hindi pa kayo nakaapag-asawa by the time, okay lang yan. Okay, wag kayo matakot. Okay, so kikiyo okay, kayo. Okay? So, can we know the date? No. But we can know the season. Okay. Sa 1 Thessalonians 5.1 1 Thessalonians 5.1 Sabi dyan, no? Sabi dyan. Now, my brothers, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you. Okay? Kasi walang nakakaalam dyan. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Bigla lang, hindi mo alam kung kailan. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. Okay? Ibig sabihin dito, ang mga unbelievers at saka most of Israel, like Israel today, ilan lang yung naniniwala kay Jesus? Parang 1%, 2%, 3% lang. Kunti, kunti lang sa ngayon, actually. No? Ang save sa mga isra, sa, sa Jews. No? Kaya sabi ng Bible, the Jews will be provoked to jealousy. Di ba? Nabasa nyo yan? They will be provoked to jealousy kasi by the time of rapture, lahat ng church ma-rapture. And that's the time na mga Jews na maiwan will be provoked to jealousy kasi akala nila sila yun, maiwan sila. And by that time, they will realize that Jesus is the true Messiah. Kaya during the seven period of uh, tribulation, that's the time for the Jews, for the Israel. Because that will be the time they will realize that Jesus is the true Son of God. Amen. But today, sabi dyan, peace and safety. Di ba ngayon ang Israel, they thought they are peaceful, they are safe, they are powerful, they are advanced militarily, economically, agriculture, no, bisa, kahit sa ano, kahit sa internet, mga technology, advanced masyado. And because of that, Israel is confident about what they have, of their knowledge, of their skills, that they are so good and powerful nation. Kaya sabi dyan, they think they are peaceful and they are safe. But by that time, they will realize that they made a wrong, ano, nagkamali siya, sila kay Jesus. Is that amen? They will be caught off guard. The same as many believe, unbelievers all over the world. Maraming Christians ngayon magiging off guard kasi akala nila Christian sila. But actually, by the time may iwan sila, they will realize na mali pala sila. Akala lang nila okay sila, hindi pala okay. Amen. So maraming ano, magkasabi na peace and safety, pero they will be caught off guard sa rapture. Yung totoong Christian lang talaga ang marapture. Yung mayroong relationship na totoo kay Lord Jesus Christ. But the children of God, first thes, uh, sa verse 4, First Thessalonians 5.4, For the children of God, okay? Sabi dyan, but you brothers, sabihan mo yung katabi mo, brother, sister, okay? 
sa mga anak ni Lord, we are not in darkness. No, you are not in darkness that this day will surprise you like a thief. You are all sons of light. Mga anak tayo, no, we are in the light. We are not in darkness. Alam natin na babalik one day si Jesus, okay? We don't belong to the night or to darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but least us be, ano daw? Alert and self-controlled. No? Self-controlled. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin gawin yung kukontrol natin ating sarili. Ang ating mga sinful nature, ang ating mga, ano, mga sexual immorality. No? We have to control those things. No? We are alert. No, babalik si Lord, and we have to practice self-control kasi kasama yan sa fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Okay? Uh, so, we do not know the exact date, the exact time, but we know the season. Okay? Then, ito. Ang mga signs. No? Binigyan tayo ng mga signs para malaman natin kung kailan yung malapit ng pagbalik ni Jesus. And the Bible has given up signs to know what is ahead. Okay? There are 353 no, signs in the Old Testament na na-fulfill ni Jesus during His first coming. Sabi dyan, 353. Lahat ng uh, prophecy na mangyari, talagang na-fulfill ni Jesus yan in His first coming, 353. But, there are 500 prophecies sa Old Testament, mas marami, at meron pang 300 in the New Testament na mga prophecies na mangyayari sa second coming. Ibig sabihin, mas marami. No? About the first coming, 353, 353 lang. But yung sa second coming, uh, about 800 prophecies, mas marami. Bakit kaya? Kasi sa first coming ni Jesus, He came no, to save. But on the second coming ni Jesus, He comes to pour His wrath. No? So, punishment sa kanyang second coming na pagbalik Sa mga maiwan, punishment ang dala niya, wrath, ang galit niya Sa pag-reject sa kanyang anak na si Jesus Christ Ibig sabihin, mas marami siyang signs Kasi ayaw niya mag-punish Gusto niya mag-repent ang mga tao Kaya mas marami ang prophecies about his second coming Kasi fearful sa mga unbelievers ang pagbalik ni Lord No, joyful sa mga anak ni Lord. But it is a fearful thing against the wrath of God. Kung matakot tayo kay Satan, mas matakot tayo kay Lord sa kanyang wrath, sa pagbabalik niya, sa kanyang galit. Because God is more powerful even no, versus Satan. Amen? No? Sabi ng 5 verse 9, 1 Thessalonians 5.9, For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation. Okay? Kaya ang ano, ang mga Christian e rapture niya, no? Before mag-start yung tribulation kasi anak tayo ni Lord, ayaw niya mag-suffer ang kanya mga anak. Okay? Yan, kaya hindi tayo kasali sa tribulation period na seven years. Because our God is a loving God for those who receive Jesus by his grace, na no, i-save niya ang lahat ng mga anak niya. Is that amen? Are you excited you are part of that? No, are you excited you are part of that? And then, so yeah, no? uh, what are the signs? Ano-ano to, itong mga signs na malapit na yung pagbalik ni Lord? First, signs of nature. Okay, basahin natin Luke 21.11. These are the signs about the nature, no? Sa mga, sa mga signs sa mundo. Okay. Sabi dyan sa verse 11, there will be great earthquakes. Marami bang earthquakes? Yeah. And there will be plagues and famine, terrors, and great signs. No? In, in 24 verse 8, sabi dyan, uh, they will be like birth pains, more frequent and more intense na mga earthquakes, na mga signs. Ito doon na mga signs, plagues, famine, earthquake, mas marami na. Mas frequent na, mas malakas pa. Amen. Meron akong graph dyan sa earthquakes. In 1900, ito lang yung earthquake. 19, 1950, 1940, year 1995. Pero ngayon, year 2000 to 2008 pa ito. 
ang dami ng earthquake, biglang umakyat. No? No, kaya nakita nyo, malapit na talaga. Okay? Tingnan nyo na lang sa atin, sa Jensan. No? Makilala, Digos, earthquake, tagom, within, for the first time in many years, in my lifetime, ngayon na ako naka-experience na ganong klaseng earthquake. That's a sign na malapit na. And another one is the plagues. No, alam nyo, ngayon, COVID-19 or CCP virus, no, communist China. <laughs> Actually, kasi parang tinago kasi ng communist China ang virus, kaya all over the world, no, nag-suffer ngayon. No, it's IV, AIDS, bird flu, SARS, marami pang iba. Ang dami-dami ng mga plagues in our time. Another one, mga famine. Okay? Nakita nyo yan in 2020. Locust in East Africa. Next, sige pa. Mga mga pictures yan. Makita nyo. No, in Somalia, sa Middle East yan. In Egypt, no? Locust. Imagine may locust pa pala in our generation. Okay? Mabuti na lang mga longo. Maubos yung mga locust. Okay, kainin na. Okay? Mga natural disasters. Ang nami, di ba? Sa atin lang yan. Sa Pablo, Yolanda, Ano kay Ondoy, in the US, meron silang hurricane, Katrina, hurricane, ang ganda pakinggan yung hurricane, parang hindi nakakasira, no? Sa atin, bagyo, so kasira talaga, pero ang hurricane, parang hindi nakakasira, okay? Amen. Grabe ang signs of nature. Another signs is signs of society. Sa mundo, no? 24 verse 12, Matthew, sabi dyan, and because, uh, uh, and because lawlessness is increased, most people's love will grow cold. No? People's love thou will grow cold. Today, how many so-called Christians talagang in love sa souls ng ibang tao? Today, di ba? Ang daming Christians ngayon, 2.4 billion, but how many of that talagang in love sa loss? No? The love of many has grown cold. Walang pakialam, actually. They are not winning souls, making disciples. Ayaw magpa-disciple, di ba? Sa 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5, sabi dyan, there, this will be terrible times, delikado na mga panahon. People will be lovers of themselves. Imagine that, lovers of themselves. Basahin nyo na lang yung verse. Lovers of themselves. Ang isang Christian, lovers of themselves. Pag kinorek mo, Ano? Ano mangyari? No? Not willing to be corrected. Many Christians today are not willing to be corrected or rebuke. Pag na-remind mo, mali yan, dito dapat, sasama ang loob yan, hindi na yan mag-church or lilipat. Ayaw magpa-disciple. No? Lovers of themselves. Pag lovers of themselves na, hindi na, hindi na yan muna yan, okay lang yan kung Pabayaan mo lang, ikilitiin mo lang palagi, ganyan. Pero pag kinorek mo, mawala yan. All mag yan. Is that amen? Signs of society. Matthew 24, 37. For the Son of Man will, will come just like the days of Noah. You know the days of Noah, di ba? Violence and immorality during the time of Noah. Nandyan yan sa Bible. Okay, ngayon, kumusta ang ating, ano, kumusta ang morality ng ating society today? No, sa TV, sa mga movies, no, pornography, drug addiction, no, abortion, no, sa China, one child policy. Can you imagine ilan ang na-abort dyan sa one child policy? Meron pa nga mga video na kinakain nila yung fetus ng mga baby. No, kasi meron daw para maintain yung kanilang youth. No? Then sa US, ilan ang na-abort dyan? Sa, ka, sa mga liberal ideas, right nila mag-abort ng baby, sabi ng US, uh, US laws. What about violence? What about drugs sa Pilipinas? Kaya meron tayong tukhang program. Di ba? <laughs> Satan worship. Alam nyo yan, meron ng ser- Satan worship. And our, about, how about morality, fake news? Ang daming news na yun na hindi totoo. No? Ina-arrange yung news to benefit some people. At alam natin ng mga ari ng mga big 
news organization, mayayaman, di ba? Mga foundation sa mga mayayaman. Kaya yung mga news nila is tailor fit para sa kanilang advantage. Kaya ang mga tao, hindi alam ko ano yung totoo, ano yung hindi totoo sa mga news. Ang mga news ngayon, hindi ka nasigurado na totoo. Marami ng fake news. Okay, That's, those are signs of society today. Amen? Do you realize that? Na malapit na talaga ang pagbalik ni Lord? Another sign is spiritual sign. Verse 11, spiritual signs. Many false prophets will arise and will mislead, mislead many. Okay? Mga kulto. In our times, maraming kulto. No? In 1838, Mormons, Kultian, because they do not believe in Jesus as God and Savior. Jehovah's Witnesses in 1870, Iglesia ni Cristo in 1914, ito yung year na nag-start na, ano, itong mga grupo. God the Mother in 1964, okay? Kibuloy in 1985, at marami pang ila, iba. Okay? What about false teachers? Marami dyan, dyan. I'll just mention three today na maraming false teachers in our time. Number one is prosperity gospel. Mga Christians, bantayan nyo. Pag palaging pinag-usapan, pera, pera offering ng malaki, lahat ng pera mo sa wallet mo ibigay. No, that's prosperity gospel. Be careful of that. And what about legalistic? Legalistic ano, gospel. Yun bang grace plus work? No? No, kasama ka ba sa grupo na grace, kailangan magtrabaho ka no? to be saved. Grace is not enough. That's, and the third is, ano naman, hyper grace. Not dahil sa grace, you can live your life the way you want. That's hyper grace. Three false teachings in our time. Amen. Another one is preaching the gospel all over the world. World in verse 14 in Matthew 24:14, sabi dyan, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Kailangan daw ma preach ang gospel all over the world. But today, tingnan nyo, tingnan na ninyo, meron na tayong social media. No, pag nag search ang tao, makinig na mga ver, uh, na mga preaching ng gospel, pwede. No, kasi nandyan sa YouTube, nasa social media na maka, makapasok sa lahat ng places no pag pa, unless it is being controlled by some government no the gospel can reach to everywhere all over the world in hindu in muslim areas nando na ang gospel and then another one is the bible translation nandiyan din sa internet no kung anong gusto mong translation nandiyan yan ibig sabihin the gospel is available for those who seek Sabi nga ni Lord, if you seek me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart. Is that amen? So that's another sign. Sign of spiritual signs yan na malapit na uh, bumalik si Lord. That's the season. Another one is signs of technology. Signs of technology. Okay? Daniel 12.4 Sabi dyan, but as for you, Daniel... Conceal these words and seal up the book until the end of time. Many will go back, will go back and forth. No? Isang sign yan. People will go back and forth. No? Mala, ma, kasi kailan ba na-invent ang aeroplano? No? Kay, uh, kailan ba? Uh, 1912, ang aeroplano. From 1912 until to 100 years lang. A little over 100 years. Pero ngayon, ang mga airplanes natin, very modern. Pwede kang mag-breakfast sa Jensen, lunch sa Manila ka na, then ang dinner mo sa Singapore na. Di ba? Pwede, ang bilis ng travel ngayon. So, we can go back and forth. Pwede ka from Manila, pumunta ng Jensen in the morning, then balik ka sa hapon. Balik ka ulit sa Manila. Okay? In one day. That's, uh, that's so true. Prophesied dyan ni Daniel. Another one is knowledge will increase at the click of the finger. No? May sakit ka sa, sa puso, mataas ang, mataas, mataas ang high blood. May high blood ka. Okay? I-research mo lang sa YouTube, meron niya anong dapat mong gawin. Okay? Pero meron ding hindi totoo, kaya mag-ingat ka. Everything is available. Okay? Another one is 
in Revelation, makita nyo na mayroong incident dyan na one-third of mankind will be killed. No? Or one-fourth of mankind will be killed. You cannot imagine that. Ano mangyari? Bakit? Paano mangyari dyan na in one day or instant, one-third, one-fourth, ang dami mamamatay. No? But today we know, with nuclear weapons, no? grabe ang mass destruction, weapons of mass destruction, pwede talaga mangyari. Okay? And about biological and chemical weapon, di ba? Kayang-kaya talaga ma, isang pag, isa, pag sinadya, no? tulad ngayon, meron tayong virus, ilan ang namatay all over the world. Okay? What, what if sabay-sabay yung attack sa mga ganyan, biological weapon, chemical weapon, or nuclear weapon? Okay? So, we are really in the season na sa pagbabalik ni Lord. Okay? Another one is the mark of the beast in Revelation 13, 16 to 17. Okay? Alam niyo ito, no? Basahin niyo lang. Ito yung mark of the beast na hindi ka makabili kung wala kang sign sa noo or sa kamay. Okay? During when I was young, yung bata pa ako, pag pinag-usapan namin ito, uh, sabi ko, hindi talaga magpatatak ng 666 kasi pangit naman tingnan dito may 666 sa noo or dito sa kamay. Kasi ang isip ko, parang sa mga animals na i-ano mo, i-seal mo, no? may 666. Pero ngayon, hindi pangit mang magpatatak, di ba? Kasi ano lang pala yan, uh, microchip. No? In fact, ngayon, parang it is advantageous na meron kang ano, microchip sa, kasi madali kang mamonitor, ma-check yung mga ano, record mo sa health mo, identification mo, mag-withdraw ka, magbayad ka, mag-grocery ka, ang bilis, pakita mo lang yung microchip mo sa kamay. No? It is so nice and kwan, it's a parang thankful ka sa new technology. Pero the same technology, ito yun, talaga po gagamitin ng Antichrist. Okay, nanyan pa ang picture ni ano. Kasi siya ang nag-finance sa research, sa microchip na yun. No? With the purpose of protecting the people. So parang hero pa sila, ganyan ang pag-present niyan. They will, they will come out as heroes, hindi matatakot ng mga tao. In fact, ang mga Christians ang magiging ano, kontrabida by the time. Okay? So nakita niyo yung picture, dito lang yan sa mga kamay, mabilis lang yan i-insert. Okay? And it is so advantageous kasi maraming magpatatak talaga, lalo na pag walang foundation. But you know what, mga Christians, huwag kayong matakot. Because yung pag-force na magpatatak, that will happen only during the tribulation time. No? Huwag kayong matakot. Ang ibig lang sabihin dito, yung technology available na ngayon. Ibig sabihin, malapit na. Pero huwag tayong mga ta- matakot mga anak ni Lord kasi by that time, raptured na tayo. Wala na tayo dito. This will happen during the tribulation period. But the sign is, it is available already as a technology. No? Prepared na. Okay? And another one, political signs. Sa Ezekiel 38-39, pagbasahin nyo, no? pag na-mention yung Israel, yung mga Christians before 1917, no? hindi nila maintindihan ang Bible. Kasi pag nag-mention ng Israel, at that time, walang Israel. Since AD 70, no, almost 2,000 years, walang Israel. Kaya pag magbasa ka ng Bible, hindi mo ma-imagine kasi wala namang Israel. Yung na-mention ng Ezekiel 38-39. But it is not no longer true today. Because in 1947, nagkaroon ng State of Israel. Okay, basahin natin itong Matthew 24-32-34. Sabi dyan, now, learn this lesson from the fig tree. Kasi ang fig tree symbolize Israel. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Pag nandyan na yung fig tree daw, pag ang twigs niya tender, leaves comes out, okay, buhay na ang fig tree, referring to Israel starting 1947. And today, Israel is a powerful nation. Ang dami ng leaves. It is bearing fruit. Di ba? Kaya malapit na. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near. Right at the door. Okay? 
I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. The fig tree is Israel. It became a nation in 1947 after almost 2,000 years. And then, number two, imagine, no? 40,000 lang sila. Pero ngayon, 8.4 million galing sa iba-ibang lugar sa buong mundo gather nila to go back to return to Israel. Nangyari yan. Nandyan yan si Bible. Part of prophecy. At talagang nangyari ngayon. Okay? 8.4 million na sila. At saka powerful na sila. And in 2017, December 6, recognized na. No? Alam nyo, na-recognize talaga ng Amerika na ang, na ang, ang capital ng, ng Israel is Jerusalem. Matagal na. O mga presidente ng Amerika approve Jerusalem ang capital pero ayaw nilang i-implement only Donald Trump no in 2017 siya lang ang matapang no ano yung pinananiwalaan ng mga Americans no in-implement talaga kaya it is recognized now as no, the capital of Israel Jerusalem so after so many years okay and then another one, the political alliance. Yung picture, no? Yung picture. Alam nyo, sa Bible, may naka-mention dyan na ang Israel, ito yung Israel eh. It is surrounded by Arab nations. Pero ang na-mention sa Bible, mga Arab nations that will, can, will attack Israel are Russia. Ang Russia, ang layo pa, nasa taas, di ba? Pero ngayon, Russia is very near kasi nasa, ang, ang Russia ngayon, nasa Syria. Okay? And Iran, malayo, pero ngayon may direct encounter na sila through Syria. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung sinabi ng Bible na ito yung mga kalaban ng Israel, inandyan na talaga ngayon sa malapit sa Israel, surrounding Israel. Ibig sabihin, prepared na yung, ano, yung mga kalaban surrounding Israel today. So malapit na talaga ang season. Is that amen? Naintindihan nyo ba? Okay? And then, the third temple, the plan of the third temple, sa 2 Thessalonians 2.4, sabi dyan, he will oppose and will exalt himself over everything, referring sa Antichrist ito. That is called God or is worship so that he sets himself up in God's temple. Ang Antichrist, during the tribulation period, now he will be the leader sa all over the world. Kaya mayroong tinatawag na one world government led by the Antichrist. At he will be a powerful person, very siguro guapo, intelligent, no? magaling ang leadership. Okay? And he will be ano, exalted, magiging hero siya all over the world. Hindi siya nakakatakot. Okay? But in the middle of the tribulation period, he will set himself, sabi niya sa verse, he will set himself to be God. And by that time, mag ang mga Jewish people. Kasi pag sabi ni Antichrist na, you worship me, hindi mag worship ang mga Jews sa isang tao. Kaya they will be, ano, papatayin sila ng Antichrist, they will hide. No? Doon sa Petra, kung nabasa niyo yung Bible, doon sila magtago. It will be called Great Tribulation dahil ang lahat ng Jews will suffer. For the sake of Jesus. Kaya by the time, ma-realize nila si Jesus talaga ang, ano, ang totoo. And so they are willing to die for, the, for, the, for Jesus, for the true gospel. Okay? Kaya meron kayong nabasa dyan na 144,000. Those are Jewish ano, pastors or preachers that will come about during the tribulation period. Amen? Na, hindi ba kayo nawala? And then, Ito pa, itong picture ng isang heifer, red heifer. Kasi itong animal na ito, na-extinct na ito for many years. Ito kasi yung klaseng animal na kailangan nila para mag, mag ano sa temple, i-offer red heifer. I Ibang klase. Pero ngayon, after so many years, nakahanap na sila at they are now racing. Available na ito. to available na ito to be ano sacrifice doon sa temple so ready ang Jews ang Jewish people ngayon 
they are already yung temple publication prepared na sila meron silang pre pre publicated no pag inalaw sila gagawin kaagad nila yon ready ready sila yung mga artifacts mga clothing mga damit ng mga pari da, damit ng mga singers lahat yan ready ang ano ang the Jewish people they are excited na magkaroon sila ulit ng temple okay but hindi nila alam Pagdating ng temple, yun lang ang gagamitin. Yun ang temple na gagawin nila, gagamitin ng Antichrist. Because sa panahon, di ba sabi ni Jesus, tayo ang temple. No? The temple that will be built, na gagawin ng Jewish people, hindi po yan para kay Lord, para yan sa Antichrist. Because we are the temple of God. No? The Holy Spirit is inside of us. So, in conclusion, ito yung maraming signs. We don't know the date, but the season is indeed na talagang ano, uh, the season of our Lord coming is before our very eyes. Are you ready? Okay? Sabi nga, ang rapture is imminent. Ibig sabihin, it can happen anytime. No, walang requirement. Mangyari ang rapture. But yung second coming, ito yung mga signs of the second coming. Okay? But if we know the signs of the second coming, that's only seven years. Kaya malapit na rin ang rapture. Di ba? Kasi seven years gap lang yan. Okay? So the question is, are we ready? Sa mga anak ni Lord, no, this is a wonderful time, a time of celebration, nothing to worry. Hindi nga tayo mag-suffer. Kasi ang mga anak ni Lord, hindi niya ipapasuffer. But yung mga maiwan, alam ko meron tayong mga loved ones na akala nila, Christian sila, okay lang sila, pero that's the time na ma-realize sila. But today, pwede tayo gamitin ni Lord, di ba? Sabi ng John 3.36, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. The Son, no? the Son of God, capital S, has eternal life. The Son of God, because He is God who became man. Kaya He is the only one na makabigay ng eternal life, okay? But whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on him. As I've said, God's wrath, mas nakakatakot yung wrath the Lord. Kasi God is love, totoo yan, but He is also God of justice. Yung wrath ni Lord as mang, ang mas matindi sa mga tao na nag-reject ngayon sa grace, sa gracia na inoffer ni Lord. Amen? So in closing, I want us to meditate upon this verse in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, 13, 5 to 7. And we will close with this verse. Sabi dito, Examine yourselves to see if your faith is genuine. Ito yung challenge ko sa ating lahat ngayon. No? Today is Sunday. In this time of crisis or pandemic, no, all over the world, gusto natin na i-examine palagi natin ang ating faith. How we live this life, di ba? Kung totoo tayo, kung totoo, totoo tayo kay Jesus, no? we, we know, dapat alam natin kung paano how to live, to honor Him, no? to be obedient to Him, kasi nandyan ang Holy Spirit, right? Di ba? Sa mga preaching natin, sa mga preaching natin, kani, uh, we cannot be uh, a true Christian, will not remain carnal, No? God can forgive us, but we will not remain carnal because we want to obey, we want to glorify God with our lives. Amen? So, sabi dyan, surely you know that Jesus Christ is among you. If not, you have failed the test of genuine faith. Okay? So, self, gusto ni Lord, self, ano tayo? Self-examination. As you test yourself, I hope you will recognize that we have not failed the test of apostolic authority. Ibig sabihin dito, ayaw natin, lalo na sa mga leaders, sa mga pastors. No, we have this apo apostolic authority or apostolic responsibility. No, as a leader, meron tayong responsibility sa ating mga disciples. No, nabantayan sila. Kaya meron tayong discipleship, meron tayong responsibility to remind, to rebuke, to correct, di ba? to update. Para maayos ang mga buhay natin, we have to remind them to examine their relationship kung totoo sila. 
Now we have to remind them and we have to remind ourselves na meron tayong responsibility. At ayaw ni Lord na ano lang tayo, very careless or kanang hindi tayo careful no? how to lead people, how to handle our disciples. And seven, we pray to God that you will not do what is wrong by refusing our correction. No, we pray that lahat ng, lalo na yung mga naka-church ta sa atin, yung mga disciples natin, ang ating mga family, no, gusto natin, we pray for them, na wala talagang isa sa atin na uh, kanang mag-refuse correction. Nung sabihan mo, ayaw maniwala, no, or sabihan mo, mag-i-correct mo, uh, ayaw makinig, or mas magalit pa, or mag re pa. Is that amen? Can I ask everyone to stand right now, and I want you to bow your heads, no, as we close, as you stand there before the Lord, no, as you are standing sa ating mga bahay, I want you to meditate, to review how you live your life today, no, signs of the times, no, yung mga sign nakita nyo, signs of nature, sign of technology, no, uh, marami pa mga signs. Na, na ang season sa pagbabalik ni Lord talagang hindi na malayo no sabi nga ng verse kanina it could be at the door nandiyan lang sa ano sa pultahan no no para kung sa ano pa last 2 minutes di ba kung sa sa basketball kaya we should examine ourselves as we live as we how we live this life that we have no this pandemic is a good time to be reminded di ba as you are standing there Nandito tayo, hindi tayo makalabas sa bahay. We are reminded na uh, lahat ng sinabi ni Lord sa Bible nangyayari. No? The Bible is credible at totoo. Okay? At we are not in control. No? Isang pandemic, maraming namatay all over the world sa COVID-19. So man is not in control, but God is in control. Is that amen? So these are the signs na reminder sa atin lahat na malapit na ang pagbalik ni Lord. Examine how we live. Be wise, not unwise. Okay? Willing to be corrected by your spiritual authorities, by your leader, by your pastors. And live a victorious life by obeying the Holy Spirit and bearing fruit. No, Bearing fruit. Kasi yung pag nag-bear fruit tayo, it glorifies the Father. Ikaw ba, meron kang plantation, walang fruit, masaya ka? Yan din ang gusto ni Lord sa atin, na meron tayong fruit. Masaya si Lord. No, masaya siya titingin sa atin na kanyang mga anak kung meron tayong fruit. That's why this ministry no is ano, is focused in bearing fruit because it glorifies our Father who is in heaven. Is that amen? Let's let's ano, let's pray. Father, minister to every soul that have listened to your message, Lord, today. That the signs of the times your coming is near. Our time is short, God. And Lord, I pray that this message, Lord, is powerful to touch every heart. And I also pray, Lord, that hearts that we'll hear today magiging soft, tender, na makinig at magbago. Lord, knowing that your coming is near, that we will live this life victoriously at magbear fruit kami, Lord, by sharing Jesus to our family, to our friends. Lord, salamat, O God, and we bless your name. And right now, as you remain standing, kung meron kayo dyan mga kasama na hindi pa sigurado na natanggap na nila ang gift, no? sabi nga, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. No? Dahil sa kasalanan, tayo lahat worthy na pa sa punishment, but mayroong gift si Jesus sa ating lahat. Gusto natin na matanggap nating lahat. So, meron kayong mga kasama dyan sa bahay ngayon na hindi pa natanggap si Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer with me. No, to receive Jesus as a gift. Binigay ni Lord, gracia. Wala kang kailangan gawin para masave. Okay, so let's pray. Let's pray. Lord God, I admit that I am a sinner. I admit, Lord, that I have failed you. I have caused pain to my loved ones and my friends. Lord God, thank you for your love that you gave your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross 
to save me from my sin. And so today, with all my heart, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. And I will live this life with Jesus in obedience and by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Thank you once again. And I hope you will see each other, not see each other. You will listen once again next Sunday and every Sunday sa ating online service. God bless you and God bless everyone. Amen. So as followers of Jesus Christ, we are not afraid. Amen of the signs of the time. So let's sing this song as our declaration of our faith.
Children and their children, may his face. 